Hello, my name is John Lee, and I'm the president of Alpha Training and Consulting, and I have a true passion for helping people prepare for ASQ exams. But today, what I'm going to focus on is the question, what is the CQE body of knowledge? In other words, what are they going to test you on? Well, they come, the ASQ CQE body of knowledge comes in seven basic headers here, or elements, and the first one is management and leadership, and as you can see up there, that's uh, 18 questions they'll test you on in that body of knowledge, which is 10.29% of the test. There's quality systems at 16 questions, uh, product and process service design, 23 questions, product and process control, 25 questions, continuous improvement, 27 questions, quantitative methods and tools, 36 questions, risk management, 15 questions, and they'll have 15 beta questions on there. Now, by beta questions, what I mean is that ASQ is going to infiltrate 15 questions into the exam and they won't be graded. You, it will not impact your score if you get them right or wrong. They're just beta tested. They're trying to see what's the pass rate on this question and does anyone complain about this question. So some of those questions may be thrown out before they're used in an actual exam. So uh, be aware of that. That's a total of 175 questions. It is a five and a half hour exam which means you'll have one minute and 53 seconds per question. And so, you know, it's a reasonable amount of time as long as you're prepared, obviously. If not, that time will uh, not treat you well. Okay, and then I have a bar chart that tells you the same thing as that table. Uh, as you see, they test most heavily on the quantitative methods and tools, which means you're going to be tested on a lot of mathematical statistical tools. And that is also the most difficult part of the... Uh, in the preparation, it's the reason that most students fail. If you fail the exam, it's highly likely it's going to be because of the quantitative methods element. So, there you go. Here is the ASQ link. If you want to go visit that, and that's where I got this information. And uh, you may want to go visit that before you go take the test, just to make sure nothing's changed. But it's a pretty stable body of knowledge. It changes a little bit over time, but not a lot. So you're pretty safe with this one. I created a list of all the lectures I give in my CQE exam or my prep class and so there's the title and there's the time uh, for each one also. So you can kind of look at that and get an idea. As you can see it's a pretty big uh, body of knowledge. I also go over uh, the primer. Uh, with my class comes a primer and I lecture on the test questions there. Uh, at the end of the chapter, so you can see that. I always like you to look at this because you can see which ones are the most difficult chapters. Chapter 8, notice I spend an hour on that one. Chapter 9, an hour, 33 minutes. Chapter 10, an hour. Uh, those are the three most challenging elements of the body of knowledge. And so I go over every question on the more difficult elements. On the easier elements, I only do half the questions for you. And as you see, we do a lot of practice exams also. Anyway, Thank you for joining me in this video. If you need any help on your ASQ CQE certification journey, I hope you'll consider me. Notice I pass most of the ASQ certifications, including the CQE. There it is right there. And uh, I would be honored to help you with your certification. If you have any questions, please contact me, and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. Thank you, and have a great day. Goodbye.